Right now it's 936. Here's what's new this morning. There's a new AI program that may have the power to actually correct dyslexia. Yeah, it was once thought to be a permanent learning disability, mm -hmm. but perhaps not anymore. Well, Foss Carolina's own Gary Bill explains how exactly this program works. Imagine playing a video game that analyzes your brain as you play. It's able to identify imperfections and then write code to correct them. That's how this program works, and it's showing promising results. I couldn't um, understand the words in when I was reading, and that led me to have hard times reading, and I couldn't get it right because I didn't know what it said. Ten-year-old Jessamy Lynch is one of many students who has struggled with dyslexia. Before this off, I needed help in my homework because I couldn't read like all the words. Even impacting their mental health. It kind of made me feel disappointed in myself because I couldn't read the words just like everybody else. A new AI program called Dissolve is helping these students. To understand how it works, Dr. Coral Ho says you need to understand how dyslexia impacts brain functions. Dyslexia is a language-based disorder uh, leading to reading difficulty. She says our brains run through billions and billions of brain processes to create words, talk, and read. You can think of this as millions of lines of computer code, and each person with dyslexia has errors in their coding process. The games are designed to activate certain brain processes during gameplay so that Dissolve AI, the expert system, can analyze the user's responses and see where the inefficiencies are. For example, the game may ask the student to identify the correct spelling of a word. And they also had a game with a penguin that you had to click on the right word, penguin. If the student doesn't identify the right spelling, then more games are produced. Why do you think AI is better than having somebody in person helping the person with dyslexia? Because a human can't get to that level of brain processing, you see. According to Dissolve Research, three quarters of the participants who took the program scored in the 50th percentile of state tests before many of those students were scoring in the 10th percentile. I did notice that the students grew looking at their data. These students in Halifax County, North Carolina, have been doing the program for three months, and they have noticed improvements, too. After Dissolve, I could tell what the words meant and I could get good scores. Right now, this technology is being tested out in nine states, including North Carolina. But Dr. Ho says once they complete the clinical trials, they hope to bring it to as many schools as possible. Carrie Beal, Fox Carolina News.